In the Vikings' latest game against the Cincinnati Bengals, it became apparent rather quickly that, yes, they've got Tyler Boyd. They've got T. Higgins, who I have on my fantasy team. Yeah, boy, got a touchdown. Thank you. Uh, and they got Joe Burrow. So it remains to be obviously seen that they've got some special players out there. Um, and uh, to me, I felt like, okay, this is already going to be a really good offense. But man, oh man, oh man, the best player uh, that I saw on the field, or pretty close to it, uh, was fifth overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft was Jamar Chase. I don't even think it's a debate. I mean, the way he put Deshaun, uh, Breshawn Breland, uh, you know, at least just burned him on that play. I mean, he's 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 done. Like that was that was rough. Uh, it was it, it was a tap out after that play. And you, you know, the six foot, uh, two hundred pound wide receiver out of LSU. You know, you just saw him um, have his way. He really he had his way, and it was kind of one of those things where you know he caught a couple balls, and it looked like okay, yeah, he's going to be okay. He's going to be a good player for him. But then just burned him like that. It was it was rough. Uh, and then the Vikings secondary had a tough time stopping him. Uh, and, you know, throughout the day, but you know that was when you just kind of knew like okay. You know, and and for me as a Vikings fan, uh, and before we actually get into it, make sure you guys like, subscribe down below, leave a like, and a comment helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support. We love every single one of you. But for me as a Vikings fan, it reminded me a lot of when Adrian Peterson caught his first pass in the NFL, which was a 60-yard touchdown against the Falcons back in 07. Really, the main reason I ever started watching the Vikings or watching NFL football, and 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 it's not just like I cover the Vikings. You guys watch my video. I do every NFL team, and I watch a lot of tape, and and, and there's just sometimes one play that just lets you know what player is going to be special. And it was that bomb, that 50-yard touchdown uh, right before the end of the half that it was just, you know, 49-yard touchdown, whatever it was. And you watch the play over and over again. It's not like Jamar – now, Jamar Chase is fast. He's probably – you know, I think he was about a 4-3, 4-2 so – or excuse me, 4-3, 4-4. He's, he's clearly fast. But the way he made a veteran corner, that's not – that's no slouch either. Brashad Whelan has – Breland has won a Super Bowl. He's, uh, he's a good corner. The way he made him look – um, it was just, it was almost unfathomable. Like I couldn't believe this man did that to another grown man. Uh, and it really just foreshadowed what, what, what I think is going to be the case with, with Jamar Chase. He's going to be a special, special player. And obviously Joe Burrow having him there to help him out as well is going to be a whole nother thing. And, uh, together, you know, Joe Burrow finished the day at 20 of 27 for 261 yards and two touchdowns. On the other hand, you know, Jamar Chase, uh, had five catches for 101 yards and a touchdown again, highlighted by that 49 yard bomb, but Again, when you watch the play over and over again, it wasn't just the you know the the nine route. The nine route was amazing, but it's just the fact that uh, he that's what he does. That's what he's going to continue to do in the NFL, and that's just provide big play after big play for your team. Uh, and I think that's exactly why they drafted him fifth overall. And I know everybody was saying, "Oh, he's going to drop balls." That's why I wasn't really saying anything. I, I think you guys can go look back to our videos during the entire you know Bengals training camp preseason. I wasn't really going to say anything because I'm like. It's preseason. If it continues to be a problem in the season, we'll see. But for now, we're not going to really put anything out because I want to see what happens first. That is why you don't put anything out first because this man absolutely exposed Rashad Breland. Love, much love to Breland, but that, that's what happened on that play. Um, and, you know, it's hard to come back from that as a corner uh, in game because sometimes it's hard to kind of, you know, just brush off a play like that. But at the end of the day, you just you watch plays like that and you just – those are the kind of plays that stick with you. And, again – you know, going back all the way back to the Adrian Peterson 2007, first play you could just tell he's going to be special. You just saw it with Jamar Chase. He's going to be a very, very special football player, especially with Joe Burrow being his quarterback for the future. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Uh, check out our, our website at thesportsbeatpodcast.com. Give us a follow and sub on uh, all of our uh, social media platforms that you have in the description. Uh, the, those will all be in the description down below. Uh, give us a sub on iTunes. Give us a listen there as well. If you have anything else you would like us to cover, make Make sure you send us that at the sports brief podcast or the sports bp at yahoo.com or just put it in the comment section down below another voice crack and we'd love to cover it uh, but let us know what you guys think about jamar chase being a special 